Good morning, students. How are you? I hope you all are fit and fine. I am going to teach you and circle the smallest number and the biggest number in this week. Okay, students. As I have already taught you the greater numbers and smaller numbers in my previous video. Okay, as you know, the difference is that in greater and smaller numbers, we have taken two numbers to compare the numbers. But in this video, I am going to take more than two numbers. As you know that uh, number which come first, that is smaller number and number which come after, that is a bigger number. Okay, students, shall we start? Okay, I am going to give you some examples here. So, let it be start. First of all, take out your notebook and write down the date, classwork and heading of the topic. Our heading of the topic is circle the smallest number. It means which one is small number, we have to circle it. Okay. So, we are going to, we are going to give you here five examples. Okay. You have to write it before margin. These one, two, three, four, five numbers. You have to write the before margin in the notebook. Okay. And prepare your notebook properly. Because when I will give you the internal assessment of marks, I will see your notebooks. Okay. So, it, it, uh, careful about this. So, first example is this. Write down the numbers. 7, 2, 4 and 8. Okay. Have you written the numbers? Okay, then how will you compare it now? First of all, you see the numbers, whether they are in single digit or two digit. So, in my first example is I have given here only single digits. Okay, 7, 2, 4 and 8. And which number uh, comes after 8? 8 is the last number. So, it means 8 is the biggest number. 8 is greater than 7. 8 is greater than 4. 8 is greater than 2. So, you, here you can find the number, smallest number, which one is the smallest number. As you know, 2 is the smallest number because 2 comes first. Okay. Then we have to circle the 2 here. Did you understand? Okay. So, go for the next example. Here I am going to give you the numbers in 2 digit. Okay. So, first of all, you have to compare the tensor. Tensa means which one is the first number that is called tensa and which one number is the second number that is called vansa. Okay. So, here first of all you see the tensa. 12, 11, 14 and 19. Your first number is 1, 1, 1 means all tens are same. So, go for the next means you have to compare the vansa. Okay. 2, 1, 4 and 9. So, you know 9, 19 is the last number. So, we will, we will not going to consider here because 9 is a greater than all the numbers. Okay, then 9 is greater than 4 and 4 is greater than 2 and 2 is greater than 1. It means 1 comes first. 1 comes first. It means 11 is the smallest number and you have to make the circle here. Okay, go for the next example. Number 3, 22. 34, 35 and 21. Here also the same method. You have to compare the first tensa. Tensa means first digit 2. Here is 3. Means 2 is, the 3 is greater than 2. So we are not considering 3 here. Here also 3 series, not considering here only 21. Here is 2 and here is 1. So we have to compare here oneza. So 1 comes first. It means 21 is the Smallest number and we have to make the circle here. Okay. So, go for the next example. Very easy for you. Here I have written everything in tensa. 10, 40, 20 and 50. And you know one is the smallest number. Did you understand? One is the smallest number. So, 10 is the smallest number. You have to make the circle. And then go for the fifth one. First of all, as I told you that you have to compare the digit whether it is in single or double. Okay. So, here also you compare the digit whether they are in single digit or double digit. Here is in three, three digits. 100 zero, zero means 100. 93, 2 and 84. So, 2 is the single digit. Single digit always the smallest number. Okay. Always smaller number. So, 2 is the smallest number. 
Is it clear, students? Okay. Same homework and do the practice again and again of these examples. And I will meet you in the next video with the biggest number. Okay.